Okay, we are working on our fall leaf paint along. Now on the table, you're gonna have an easel. That is the wood thing that our canvas sits on. A canvas, it is a stretched piece of fabric that has been stretched over a wood frame. This is a canvas. So you can see the wood frame is on the back and it's been stretched and stapled. Now with a canvas, you have to make sure you see that there is a top, there is a bottom and there are sides. So when we do the first set of painting, you are gonna have to make sure that you paint all the edges of your canvas. Cause when it's hanging on a wall, we don't wanna see a bright white bottom. Um, also at your table, you're gonna see a cup with two brushes. There is a large and a small red brush. You need to listen because Ms. Lawson will tell you which one we are using. You have a paper towel under that to wipe our brushes off, a foam brush, a tray of paint with blue, yellow, orange, and red, and then a marker and a chalk. So here's a few things you need to know. The foam brush, we are only using this with the blue today. It is gonna help us get this whole canvas, all the sides painted quickly, and then this brush will go to the trash can. We are not using this anymore. Please don't put this brush in the water. It will make a mess. Straight to the trash can when we're done. The two brushes in the water, when we are ready to use them, when you pull it out, you will notice that it is dripping with water. It is very important before you dip it in the paint to take it to your paper towel and dab off all the extra water before we dip it in the paint. Because if it has too much water, it will drip and the paint will drip on our canvas. We don't want that. We also want our paintbrushes to always be soaking in the hot tub. So when you finish with the paintbrushes, put them in the hot tub. They are always hanging out in the hot tub unless we are using them. Um, the marker, we are using that to add our veins in our leaf and sign our artwork. And again, I'll show you that when we get there. The chalk we are using to draw the shape of the leaf because the cool thing about chalk is that I can erase it off our canvas. It will disappear. Okay, to get started, we are gonna use our foam brush. We are gonna be dipping in the blue paint. And we are going to be taking this blue paint and painting our whole canvas blue. Notice I'm just smearing it around. Now you do have to be very careful. This paint will stain your clothes. It will, it can be washed off your hands, but it will not be able to be washed off your clothes. Again, we are filling all this white space in with this blue. I don't wanna see any white canvas. So now this is where you may need to tilt it. Yes, your hands are gonna get a little dirty. I'm just gonna turn it sideways and do the same thing and I'm working my way around. Okay, once I've got all four sides, I'm just gonna take my brush and make sure there's no big globs. Cause if you have big globs of paint, it's just going to um, take longer to dry. Again, this brush goes straight to the trash can and then you are gonna take this and you're going to walk your canvas, you'll have to pick it up off the easel to the table where Miss Lawson will blow dry it dry. Okay, so we have blow dried it. There's a, something called we do the hand test. If I can take my clean hand and rub it back and forth and nothing comes off, then I know it is ready. Now the sides may still be wet. I don't care about the sides, we just worry about the front. The second material you're gonna use is our chalk. Now, if for some reason you are drawing this leaf shape and you don't like it, or maybe it's too small, please raise your hand. Miss Lawson's going to come with a damp paper towel and I will clean it off for you. So we're creating a fall leaf. The leaf is going to be taking up most of our canvas. We don't want a tiny leaf or we won't be able to paint it in. So it's gonna be going at an angle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make wavy lines on the side. So I'm gonna start kind of towards the bottom corner 
And then I've come up to the top. I'm going to curve around and then make wavy lines going back down and connecting the bottom. The bottom is not wavy. The bottom is a curved line. The sides are wavy. The top is a curved line. The side is wavy. Again, it needs to be pretty big. This is the only thing on our canvas. If you make it too small, it's going to be super hard to paint in. The last thing is we're going to add a stem, which is a long, skinny rectangle. So again, this is using our chalk. When we're done with the chalk, I will come around and pick it up. Again, if for some reason you don't like the shape, I will take my paper towel. It will wipe it off gently because it does take the paint. You got to be careful. And then you may still see it, but you can redraw after that. Now, once we have our shape drawn, this is where our three warm colors, yellow, orange, and red, are gonna come in handy. This is where we're gonna use our brushes. I'm gonna start with the big red brush. Again, once it comes out of the hot tub, dab it on the paper towel to get all the extra water off. So, we're gonna start with our lightest color, which is our yellow, it's like a golden yellow. And we're gonna start at the top of our leaf. Now, again, the chalk, will disappear when it's dry. So we don't need to worry about the chalk. So once I paint the top of my leaf yellow, this is important. I am not gonna wash off the yellow because I want the yellow to blend into the orange. I'm gonna keep the yellow and I'm gonna go to the orange next. And then as I paint down, it's going to blend these two colors together. A little more orange. come down a little farther. And then the same thing with our red. I don't want to clean the orange off. I'm going to go straight in to the red. Actually, I'm going to add a little more orange before I go into the red. The red is going to be at the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to go straight to the red and finish at the bottom with my red paints, mixing it in with my orange. Okay, this is what we're gonna do to blend it a little better. I'm gonna take my brush, go to my water, gently bounce it off in the cup, keep your cup on the table. Once I think I got all the paint, then I'm gonna go to my paper towel. I'm gonna dab off the water. Make sure it's a clean brush. It's dry, there's no paint. I'm gonna start at the yellow, blending it into the orange, move down to the orange. See how this dry brush is just helping us blend in these colors? and just kind of smooth it out. Again, it got a little paint, so I'm gonna wash it off. I never wanna go back to the yellow with paint on my brush, because the red is stronger. I wanna take the yellow and move it down. Okay, and then the last, our stem, I'm gonna switch brushes, put the big brush back, get the small red brush, dab off all the water. We're gonna finish the stem with our red. Okay, so we have painted in. Again, take your brush, put them in the hot tub. We are going to blow dry this before we add our detail with our black permanent marker. So bring it to Ms. Lawson, make sure we get it blow dried. Okay, so it has been blow dried. Again, I give it the hand test. No yellow, orange, or red paint comes off. Now, the cool thing about our chalk, like I said, it disappears. So eventually, not right now, when you get home and it's completely dry, you can just take your paper towel and rub it off. Don't do it now because the paint may smear um, and it will disappear. Okay, black permanent marker. This is what you're going to do. Now, if you need to put it on the desk um, or on the table to do this, that's fine too because you are kind of drawing on it. I'm gonna move it a little closer. We are gonna start to create the vein. Um, so coming off the stem, you're gonna take your marker and you're gonna draw a line all the way through. Coming off this line, you're gonna make V's where the center of the V is touching that center line. 
And if your marker stops working, just wipe it on your paper towel. Sometimes it gets stuck in the paint. So three Vs. Then we're gonna take our marker and we're going to trace around. There we go. So I'm tracing those curves coming down the stem and back up. Now the last thing with our permanent marker is signing your artwork. Now be careful, we don't wanna put our name at the top or the middle. We are gonna sign the bottom corner. It can be left or right. Because my stem is on the right corner, I'm gonna to go to the left. So you're gonna write your initials. Again, you may have to wipe the marker off or grab a new one. My initials are BL. Again, don't write BL, that's Miss Lawson. So using your marker, write your initials so we know whose artwork it is and then clean up. So please listen, return any markers that you had for Miss Lawson. Return the chalk, make sure I pick that up. Um, your paper towels and your paint tray. These are trash. You will walk them to the trash can. Your cup, please make sure you listen. Ms. Lawson will tell you um, you're going to put your paintbrushes in the pool. You're going to dump out your dirty water into the sink. And then I will show you where to put your water cup. Well, please make sure all your items from the paint along are cleaned up before we leave the art room. And I hope you enjoyed creating their fall leaf.